shampoo that conditions your hair as it cleanses and Tide, for the cleanest clothes in town, present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. I still don't think it's the right idea. It's oh, silly no, now. No, I've worked Ollie. this whole thing out. Now, if I... you'd worked it out, all these things would have been done. There would be no need for this discussion at all. Well, that's the whole thing. Now, right? there, if you didn't want to do it, all you had to do was to say so when we first spoke about it. Well, it didn't. They weren't emergency repairs. They could have been done any time, and it, I just that's don't... That's not the point. It's when you let things go the way, if you, excuse me, you have. Well, I've had other things, emergency. too. All of a sudden, we'll want screens on the windows, and the screens won't be ready. They won't have been cleaned. They won't have been painted. How about that plaster? That is going to be an emergency. Oh, now, friend, it's just that a little bit of plaster. Right on night. What now? A little piece of plaster. A little piece fell down the other day. A little piece fell the day before that. And a little piece is liable to fall tomorrow. What about the window frames? They have to be painted on the outside. Right. Certainly. Well, all in good time. It's spring. All is in just good coming. time. Don't you know that it's on bad days in the winter that you do things like that? So they're all ready when spring comes. Now, Fran, now look. Oh, well, you know Ollie, there's just no use to talk about it now, anymore. If you didn't want to do it, you could have said so. Well, I did want to do it, Fran, but here's that. Let me just say this much. That I felt, you know, that those jobs were things that I can do because I've had lots of experience around the house, and I hated to see the money go outside the family. It's silly to hire people outside the family. When we, when I can do it and we can work together on it. But, but you haven't done it. Well, I'm getting to it. We shouldn't take the responsibility. We'll, we'll manage to, to, to get the money together. We'll, we'll pay professional people. Well, I don't. Certainly, they do it in, in a third of the time. I could do it. They Why do don't you pay well. me to do it? You never, I could, I, I, I go around and do it. If you'd offer to pay me to do it, I might get some of those jobs done. But see, I have to earn a living, we were so just I have saying, to do them on my own. We keep the money right in the family. We don't uh, get paid for the things we do around here. No. Well, I know, but you're going to pay somebody else to do it. Why don't you pay well, me to? Maybe I thing. can get a little more efficient. Then you know, it isn't that I. It isn't that I'm mercenary. Well, about we're just things. getting nowhere now. Let's decide one thing or another. I didn't call this meeting just to get up here and and, and have a, a harangue. A what? Harangue. Well, hello, Marla. No, no, no. Harang. No, harang oh, no. harang. No, Molly. No, no, no. no, it's an argument of this sort of thing. I'm tired of it. Well, I'm tired of it too. So we'll just settle it. I'll get it done this weekend. And you've said that every weekend. Well, the weekends have been full, you know. Well, Ollie, it isn't altogether your fault. I keep all this. Business. We don't want you to think that we really blame you. We just say that. If we hadn't been delegated to do it, it might have been. And that's not what we mean either. What do we mean? I don't know. Well, I know what you mean, and I think that you should just let me do it and and pay me the money. No, Ollie. Now look, we've got lots of things to do. You have special jobs to do, and uh, now that we're working for Procter and Gamble, you know there are many things that I want you to work on with me. And I, I just, you know, today you're. We you're, should have the cleanest place in town. We sure should. And, and you, you're going to talk about green shampoo, and Fred's going to talk about Kame, and we, we've got lots of things to do. Now, let's just, let's delegate this now. Get out the uh, red book. We'll look through the red book, and we'll find we'll out. Find, no, no. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, 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 I do feel very much responsible. <gasps> I, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry that this happened, and I, I tend to agree with you both that maybe it would be smarter to get a contractor or get you know, special job fellas to do it and pay for professional help. I, I think that would be smart. If you're willing to pay for professional help, then We I... certainly are willing to do that, Al. Well, let's go and get the red book. All right, no, I'll... no, wait, no, wait. I, I, I feel that I should take care of it that far. So let you kids just forget the whole thing. Don't worry about the responsibility. What? Responsibility? Yes, don't you worry about that anymore at all. You just leave it to good old Ollie, and I'll take care of it. I'll call up a contractor I know, and uh, and he's a professional man. He, I don't, I, it isn't just a friend or anything like that. And uh, he'll take care of everything for you. Each job, I'll send, I have him sent over the painter, and uh, he can take care of the painting and the plastering. And I'll send over the plumber because uh, you've got to take care of the, that pipe. The, the kitchen. Yes, and then the shower in my room is terrible. So the ring is pulling away from the wall. Oh, well, goodness. Haven't and, checked it. And instead of, uh, when I go in, 
take a shower instead of the soft, gentle rain. It's like standing under the rain spout. Well, the spout should be fixed too. Spout should be spout. Well, I'll get I'll get the painter man to do that. He's, then we'll get and I'll get the. Well, how about how about the furniture? Now you want that? Where it was checked? You want that rubbed down in your, in your dressing room? Well, that doesn't. I could. Well, I'll get a cabinet maker too. I'll get all those things and. No, I'll tell him what we need, and he'll send it. If you, you kids are willing to. All right, What's fine. Now we can depend we'll, on we'll it. We'll put the scouts on it. You bet. You bet. Scouts on it. Okay. All right. Well, so that's something off my mind. If he really will do it, and I'm sure he will. I, I think he's kind of. He, he doesn't mean to shirk anything he's supposed to do. He's a great putter offer, though. I'm just as glad that he's not doing it. Well, I certainly am overjoyed because you know uh, what usually happens. I mean, we all have to pitch in. And I think that, you know, I think it's high time now. We're well, we should have people do those things because, after all, there's just too many other things to be done. Well, we don't know how. We're not professional. No, we're but not, you know, we should have people come in and, and take care of them. We can afford it now, or I hope we can. Well, well, I like to think we can. But it's, it's nice. I mean, we have to we have to show we have to have a little bit of, of a certain prestige. I think you know, so. Yeah. Big up and coming television show like ours just can't go around. Mm -hmm. and just can't do all our repairs all the time. Indeed not. At least not for the show. No. And Jack, you've got to stop tuning your own piano. Yes, we'll have a man come in. We'll have a man. We'll get a contractor to come in and take care of that thing. Uh, Loris will be able to keep the salad fork at home all the time. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <sighs> I feel really good. I do too. I'm glad we made that step. I, I, you know, I just, I'm telling you, sometimes I, I'm a little close with my dollars. Mm -hmm. I don't have to get the budget in there. Well, you have to be a little cozy with it. Well, I know, but I, I think that Sometimes, you know, what are you going to do with it if you don't spend it to help us? Well, you can't take it with you. That's right. I always say, I always say that, too. Mm -hmm. And I think that you just, you've got to sometimes pick up, uh, uh, pick yourself up and, and just just see that it's I done properly. So. Yeah, right. And it spreads it around, too. That's good, you know. Sure. I know that I'll have to. I just a good about it. I do it too. Hey, what? What happened to your bow? Oh, my hair bow? Yes, you're creating a whole new kind of style. Oh, you have to have a different ribbon down the hat couple. Oh, my goodness. Why didn't you go down and get one? I, I didn't have time. Poor little friend. Didn't have a ribbon bow. A little ribbon bow. Hey, that reminds me of you. Brian, just the other day, Jack and I were going over to our old folk tune. Mm -hmm. You know the little collection where I found Cuckoo and oh, yeah. Jordy? Jordy? Mm -hmm. Well, I came across a little uh, a book. And it, uh, it had a uh, whole bunch, and, and, and in one of the songs was uh, about a ribbon bow. Wait a minute. A ribbon bow? I, I think I can find it. Uh, not Scott, no, Scott. Scott Irving was a popular song. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here, here, I got it. Whoop. Kentucky Mountain Song. Mm -hmm. If I had a ribbon bow. If I had a ribbon bow. Is it a free song? Let's see. If I had a ribbon bow to bind my hair, if I had a fancy sash, my own true love would think to spare. And when he goes to Frankfurt, logging on the ride, he'd bring me back with his own hand. A very pretty prize. If I had a ribbon bow to bind my hair, if I had a fancy sash, my own true love would think me fair. If I was like the city bronze and fair with Ne'er a lad in all them parts would know my heart. Then I'd live in Frankfurt, where all the law and gold. I'd lark about the settlement and wear the firm sole. If I was like the city bronze, and fair was small. Never a lad in all them parts would know my heart. 
get a tool. So, you did a beautiful thing, okay? You're not. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait,
Yeah, I guess they do. But they don't watch it anymore. Oh. They watch Captain's video. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Pringle. That is a name that has been turned to the wall around here. Oh. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> anyway, uh, I was wondering just exactly what you wanted me to do. Oh, I want to talk about business. I usually am paid in advance. Paid in advance? Yeah. Well, Mr. Pringle, that doesn't make very good sense to me. Uh, I, I just don't see how you can tell how, how you pay by the hour. By the job. By the job. Mm. Well, we pay by the kind of job it's done, too, so I think we'll get along just fine. You do your work, and we'll be happy to pay you. That's right. That's your best job. Well, all righty. Well, I'll get started right now. <laughs> Pringle. Mr. Pringle. Know anybody by the name of Pringle, but he seems strangely familiar. I think he's a type. Probably. Well, let me know when he's finished. Yeah, I will, Fran. Hey, has he has he worked on your windows yet? No, I think not. No. Worry. He seems to want to open all the windows. Well, I only have one window, so it won't bother me too much. Yeah, well. Uh, you get cold, huh? Just come on in. Bye. <sighs> well, let's see now. What else has to be done? Now that all the responsibility of the house is taken off her shoulders, I don't know exactly what to do. Seems so nice to be free. If I can just devote myself to the show. To the show. Oh. Fran, dear! Yes? Have you seen Ollie? Well, no, I haven't. Not since he said he was going to get to work before. Well, he, uh, he was supposed to... He was supposed to talk about dream shampoo today. He insisted that he do it today? because... Today? He always uses dream shampoo, you know. Oh, what is she? Ollie! You seen him? I got, I got. Ollie! Got my bottle of dream shampoo already. For Let's put it out and get it all ready for him. Yeah. That's a very peculiar thing. He's usually so prompt about things like this, he loves to speak. Well, you know, he always, he always uses dream shampoo, so I know that he, he, he insisted, you know, that was. Well, yes, it's his department. Pardon me. <clears throat> how do you do? How do you do? I'm Mr. Snoop. Mr. Snook, well, how do you do, Mr. Snook? Yes, I'm the, I'm the plumber. Oh, I see. I'm Mr. Cooper, and this is Miss Allison. Well, how do you do? How do you do, Mr. Snook? Nice to know you, Mr. Cooper. No, 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 I'm, I'm Mr. Cooper. Oh, nice to know you, Mrs. Cooper. Uh, no, no, we're not married. This is Miss Allison. Oh, nice to now, know Now, this, this is a bottle of green shampoo. Green shampoo. Oh, I couldn't help overhearing what you were saying about this fellow that was supposed to talk about, uh, green shampoo mm -hmm. and... Everything. You know, that it's very strange, but you know, that reminds me. I noticed when I was working there uh, in your bathroom there, I noticed that you had a uh, shelf just uh, filled with bottles of green shampoo. And that just, uh, it's an odd coincidence. It really is an odd coincidence. You know, my wife, my wife says there's just nothing like green shampoo. Is that what and she, she ought to know because you see, I have 11 little girls at home. You have 11 little smokes. Isn't that wonderful? How they nice. are always little. Oh. No, I mean they're they, they 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 sort of are in sets. Now my oldest girl is eighteen. Eighteen. And she's a very lovely girl, if I may say so myself. Yes. Takes after her mother. Her mother's a very lovely girl too. As a matter of fact, her mother has the most beautiful hair you've ever seen in your life. Hmm. And she always uh, says to me, she says, Sylvester, my first mate. Well, it's nice she calls you Sylvester then. She says, Sylvester, you know something? She says, Sylvester, I like dream shampoo because it conditions as it cleanses. Well, indeed, that is the most important thing. And really, she she has the most beautiful hair. It has it's very soft, you know, mm -hmm. and it has a very uh, natural shine to it. And she says that's because she uses dream shampoo. She brings that out. Oh yes, and it it, it she says. Well, now, she was telling my, my, uh, eldest daughter just the other night, she said, I hope you folks don't mind me talking like oh, this. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no. You charge no, by we... the job, not by the hour, don't you? No, I charge by the hour. Oh. You don't mind. Oh, no, but this is on my own time. Oh, well, fine. But I tell you, uh, she said to me, she was talking, I overheard her, she was talking to my daughter. And she said, uh, she said to her, Cynthia, my eldest daughter, mm -hmm. she said, Cynthia, she said, I just want you to be sure to always use green shampoo because green does far more than just wash your hair. And only a liquid shampoo like green can leave your hair so glossy, so soft, yet so manageable. Mm -hmm. You know? You know what my daughter said? 
What did your daughter say? I know, Mama, she said. Oh, if it's that wonderful. We just had a heart-to-heart talk. Yes, oh, and that, that girl really... Now, now my daughter Cynthia has quite long hair. She wears her hair quite long. She, mm. she likes long hair. And I tell you, it really, that green shampoo is just perfect for her hair. And yet now, here's my daughter, my other daughter. See, I think she's my fourth daughter. Uh, yeah, fourth daughter. Well, I couldn't see what you little confused. Oh, that's nice. Now, Snitty has very short hair. Mm-hmm. Very short. She uses green shampoo, too. Well, that certainly is wonderful. Whole family uses it. Well, I know you have a very happy family. <laughs> yes, we do. We really do. Well, I hope you don't mind my taking up your time. Not in the least. Oh, say, by the way, you've got to have a quite a job done in the bathroom. Got to take out the bathtub, the shower. Big job. New tile, too. Mm. Thought you were just a plumber. Oh, I know, but you got to have all that done. Gonna well, he cost... has an eye for a great many things, I can see. It's going to cost a pretty penny. I uh, hope you can pay in advance. Mr. Snump, we... What Snump? I, I like to think of it as was. Uh, shouldn't we refer him to Ollie to pay the bill? I suppose that's the best way to do it. Well, Mr. Snump! Mom. No. Mr. Snump, you'll have to see Mr. Dragon about the bill. And I have to see Mr. Dragon. I think my green shampoo right down where, right in my drawer. Right there. Randy, did you see the kitchen? No. Well, the whole thing's torn apart. Well, for goodness sake. I don't understand that. Well, I don't either. All the, all the pipes are all, all torn apart and everything. Well, that's a very strange thing. I wish Ollie would come back here. That's a terrible... Who I... took the summer kitchen? The what? The summer kitchen. Somebody took the summer kitchen. Well, it was there when I last looked. It's not there now. Gone with the wind, probably. With Mr. Pringle. With Mr. Pringle? Yeah. He took it with him? Oh, Cooper, this is getting worse and worse. And how I love that lattice work where the morning glory juice entwined. I'll never be able to cook another meal this summer, I can tell you that. With my summer kitchen gone, I am just a big nothing. Oh, you will, uh, uh see, now we have to worry about her and her oh, summer kitchen. Uh, uh, if I could just get that out. What happened? To, what? Oh, gracious, what happened to the pipe? Where? In the kitchen. All the pipes are gone. Oh, great. That's With Mr. Stump, no doubt. Yeah, Mr. Stump. Stump. Dear. One's as bad as the other. Well, maybe we'll get the, the check on the piano all, you know, smooth out. Well, maybe. Well, I'll go and see if there's anything missing in my room. Okay. Hope not. <laughs> you know, Mr. Snump looked a little bit like Mr. Kringle. I you? felt that, too. It felt so like, too. I wonder why that is. Well. There is the cabinet you wish me to finish. I beg your pardon? I'll feed it, babe. Vat of loaf. You are Mr. Van Allison? I am. Very nice to see you. I am. Well, you can't see me now. That's a cinch. <laughs> what did you want to talk about? Hmm? <laughs> I asked you what you wanted to talk about. The, the cabinet. You look very much like Mr. Stump, or Slump. And you look even more like Mr. Pringle. Who are they? Just never mind about the cabinet. Just send your bill to Mr. Dragon. How, how can I send my bill to Mr. Dragon when I'm Mr. Dragon? <clears throat> Did I fool those kids? They Cook didn't even, They didn't see through my... Cook up. They didn't even see through my discards. What? Did you notice something very, very remarkably peculiar? I saw the cabinet maker. What's his name? Hooping Speckle. <laughs> Hooping Speckle. You know what his name is? His name is Oliver J. Dragon. That's exactly what his name is. And that's Mr. Stump Schnump, uh Pringle. Pringle. I just found his glasses. These are the glasses Ollie always wears when he does Mr. Jenkins. Why, they, they are. That's exactly it. 
Oh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna just teach him a lesson. Oh, don't, don't give it away right away. Don't give it away right away. Well, I have, I have finished for all the work, and I am I <clears throat> I am supposed to collect for Mr. Snoop. Snoop, Snoop, Mr. Snoop, and Mr. Jingle. Pringle. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Pringle. Well, I can tell you just exactly where you can collect. If you would just go down the hall to Mr. Dragon's room, he'll be happy to pay you in cash. But, uh, I understand oh, Mr. Dragon is not here. Oh, he's a remarkably prompt person about paying his bills. Oh, Mr. Dragon's Isn't right downstairs. So? Yes, Mr. Dragon's right downstairs. He's right downstairs. Uh, Ollie, come on up. I want you to meet Mr. Um, no. Mr. Uh, did that say my name was? Well, let me see. Poop and speckle. Poop and speckle. Well, poor, come on, Ollie. Ollie, come on. Uh, uh, well, I'll send my bill. He's not going to get away with that. He'll send his bill. Ollie. <laughs> they think I'm, they think I'm different people. How can I fool him like that that long? They're the strangest kids I ever saw. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take my disguise off, and I'll tell them, and they'll have to pay me, because they agreed. They agreed. Kid, look. <laughs> look, it's me. Look. I'll get all my disguises together. Kid. Brian, look. It's, it's me. Hoopla, look. It's me. Now you can pay me. It's me, Oliver. I was, I was the same one. I, all the time. I was the same Kukla. Kukla. Well, you must be the new rumor. It'll yes. be fifteen dollars in advance. Uh, okay. Are no. you in show business? No, you I... think we want somebody here who's in show business? Fran, Fran, I you uh, you, you must make a mistake. Pay me. Oh no Young man, <clears throat> I hope we'll be very good friends, but I wouldn't want you to begin on a basis of calling me by my first name. Fifteen dollars in advance. <clears throat> well, but that's what we decided, isn't yes. it, dear? Yes, that's right. My yes. husband and I have decided. Yes. But, uh, but where are the people that were... And there will be one towel a day, that's all. We'll thank you to take off your rubber overshoes before coming in the front hall. But aren't you, Mr. Kukla? Our meals oh, are served no. promptly on time. And anyone who is late will simply have to take the consequences. Isn't that so, dear? That's right. That's right. What? We know I... you're going to be very happy here. We want you to be one of the family. I'm Mr. Bloomp. And this is my wife. How do you do? Billy Bloomp is my name. Okay, I give up. I just have one single thing to say. Remember, don't just wash your hair. Condition it with dream shampoo. <laughs> Tide's really a wash day miracle, because it not only gets out ordinary dirt, but also leaves your wash free from dulling soap films. And that one fact alone made no rinsing practical. Yes, with Tide, you can save all the time and work of rinsing, and you'll get the cleanest possible no-rinse wash. But if you prefer to rinse, here's what Tide promises you. Tide will get your clothes cleaner than any soap cleaner than any other washing product sold throughout America. We've proved that in the laboratory, and you women see the proof in the cleaner clothes your children wear to school, in the cleaner shirts you give your husband. Yes, when your wash is a Tide wash, it's the cleanest wash in town. Tide gets clothes cleaner than any soap. Any soap? Yes, any soap. You get the cleanest wash in town with the Tide. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Passionato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz. And the costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And this is Verson of uh, Prick uh, Tilstrom. Thank you on behalf of Oliver Dragon, all the Kukla Powerful players. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie has been brought to you from Chicago by Tide for the cleanest clothes in town and dream shampoo that conditions your hair as it cleanses. NBC Television. <laughs>